Ten-year-old Felix Lapointe has a potentially deadly genetic disease called lipoprotein lipase deficiency, or LPLD. His body lacks an important enzyme that breaks down fat in food. Felix, his mother said Felix went through a period where he couldn't accept he had this illness, and there's still lots of anxiety. For people with LPLD, the fat makes their blood turn white. They can suffer dangerous attacks of pancreatitis. There is no cure, but there used to be a treatment called Glybera. It was developed by Canadian scientists, but when it went on the market in Europe, priced at $1 million, the company only sold one treatment and then abandoned it forever. Last November, a CBC documentary told the, bottom, the Glybera story. I would like to have seen this go all the way and seen this uh, uh, bring benefit to patients everywhere in the world. Dr. Danica Sinimarovic at the National Research Council saw that story on The National. It was good timing. She had just received new federal funding to develop affordable gene therapies for Canadians. Glybera seemed like an ideal first project. It just happened that the original Glybera story was run on CBC, and that really got us thinking that this can be uh, uh, the first in our uh, in, in lineup of, of projects where we can really make a difference. She immediately called Dr. Michael Hayden. I was just thrilled that we could do something as a national effort to achieve this. National Research Council scientists already have the capacity to make gene therapy delivery systems outside the traditional pharmaceutical industry. So these are therapies for rare diseases and it's very difficult to make them in a typical pharma-driven model because that drives the, the price of these therapies to astronomical levels. No, no guess we're fine. For Felix Lapointe, though, it's still a long wait for treatment. We've been fighting for 10 years with doors closed, so the possibility that something is coming is encouraging. It will take at least five years before the new version of Glybera is ready to be tested in patients. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.